My name's Priya and this is Walter and today we'll be reading you Good Night Pepper. Here's the blurb. It's time for bed but Pepper and George are absolutely, definitely, not even a little bit tired. A bedtime story from Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Daddy Pig and Mummy Pig should send them to sleep. Shouldn't it? Stay tuned to find out. Let's read! Once upon a time, Granny and Grandpa Pig came round for dinner. It was almost time for Pepper and George to go to bed. Oh, yawned Daddy Pig very loudly while they were eating. <laughs> Everyone giggled. Ho, 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 sorry, snorted Daddy Pig. I'm a little tired. Peppa and George weren't tired at all. Can we jump in puddles for just a tiny bit? Asked Peppa. Please. Okay, so Daddy Pig, but you must come in at bath time. Peppa and George loved jumping in muddy puddles. They jumped up and down until they were covered in Peppa, George, called Daddy Pig. You must be feeling sleepy after all that jumping. Let's get you in the bath. But Daddy, we're not even a little bit sleepy, replied Peppa. Peppa and George splashed in the bath until they were both nice and clean. I think bath time is over, said Daddy Pig, dripping wet. You must be tired after all that splashing. We're not even a little bit tired, cried Pepper, splashing Daddy Pig again. Snort, snort, laughed George. Daddy Pig was soaked. Pepper and George hopped out of the bath. They dried off and put their pajamas on very slowly. Then they brushed their teeth for an extra long time. Brush, 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 brush. Quick, wash your faces. Granny Pig wants to tuck you into bed, said Mummy Pig. Yippee! Cheered Peppa. Gangy! Cheered George. Peppa and George were finally ready for bed. They said goodnight to Mummy and Daddy Pig and found Granny Pig in their room. Come on, little ones, said Granny Pig. It's bedtime. Hop in. I can't go to bed without Teddy, said Peppa. So Granny Pig found Teddy and Mr. Dinosaur and tucked everyone in. Good night, Peppa and Teddy, said Granny Pig. Good night, George and Mr. Dinosaur. But we're not even the tiniest bit sleepy, Granny, said Peppa. I see, said Granny Pig. I wonder what will make you sleepy. Can you tell us a bedtime story? asked Peppa. Of course, Peppa, replied Granny Pig, as long as you promise to go to sleep as soon as the story ends. We promise, cried Peppa. Peppa and George love bedtime stories. Hi kids, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. It's free and it helps out a ton. Also, if you'd like to buy your own Walter, link's in the description. Let's get back to the book. Granny Pig began telling a story. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess called Peppa, interrupted Peppa. Yes, said Granny Pig. And Sir George the Brave Knight, Peppa interrupted again. Hee <laughs> hee, giggled George. Granny Pig carried on. Princess Peppa and Sir George lived in a castle a great big castle in the sky said peppa granny pig tried to finish a story princess peppa and sir george had been playing all day in the castle and were very tired then then the king arrived cheered peppa and a cook and a wizard and a scary dragon dinosaur Dinosaur, added George. Grrr. And the cook 
made them all a giant picnic with sandwiches, cakes, jelly. Peppa listed all the foods she could think of. Grandpa Pig came to find Granny Pig. I'm telling Peppa and George a bedtime story, explained Granny Pig, and we promise to go to sleep when the story ends, added Peppa. I see, said Grandpa Pig. Granny Pig, why don't you leave this to me? I'm good at ending stories. So Granny Pig said goodnight and went downstairs. Grandpa Pig did his best to end the story. After they ate the lovely picnic, everyone fell asleep. The end. But Peppa did not want the story to end. Then they all woke up and their friends arrived, she cried. And they went for a ride in Princess Peppa's carriage and decided to have a great big party. Soon, Daddy Pig came upstairs. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories, he said. Then he whispered quietly to Grandpa Pig, I'll have them asleep in no time. So Grandpa Pig said goodnight and went downstairs. Princess Peppa and Sir George were just about to have a great big party, Peppa told Daddy Pig. I see, he replied. Mummy Pig heard banging, so she came upstairs too. Peppa, George and Daddy Pig were dancing. We're having a party, like in the story, explained Peppa. They're almost asleep, said Daddy Pig. Thank you, Daddy, said Mummy Pig. I'll take over now. So Daddy Pig said goodnight and went downstairs. Mummy Pig tucked Peppa and George back into bed. Then she asked Peppa to tell her the whole bedtime story from the beginning, very quietly. Once upon a time, whispered Peppa, yawning, there was a beautiful princess called Peppa. She lived with Sir George the Brave Knight in a great big castle in the oh, sky. Speaking softly was making Peppa really sleepy. Peppa tried to finish the story, but she just couldn't keep her eyes open. Soon, George fell fast asleep, and so did Peppa. Mummy Pig looked at her two little ones, smiled and whispered, Good night, George. Good night, Peppa. Then she headed downstairs to find Granny, Grandpa and Daddy Pig. They were all fast asleep. It was bedtime for Peppa and George, and it was bedtime for everyone else too. Good night, said Mummy Pig. Thank you so much for joining me to read tonight. I hope you have a great night, and if you'd like to see my next book, remind Mum and Dad to subscribe. See you next time.